What is going on, guys? My name is Tuba Player Negative AE, and today we're playing a game called Duskers. Uh, Duskers was in my inbox uh, the other day, so I decided that I would come out and give it a little bit of a a shout out since I actually kind of like the game a lot. It's actually really good. So first thing that you should know is that everything is text based. Uh, there's no mouse movement at all, so it's weird. It's definitely weird to get used to, um, but it's it reminds me of old roguelikes, uh, which is awesome. Uh, old roguelikes, you would like type. T and T would be throw and Q would be quaff and it would be weird and there would be all these like different things that you would have to learn uh, in order to understand how to play the game and so that's kind of how this game works um, although it's a little bit cooler so let's go through the tutorial a little bit um, so you can okay so we'll just go through the tutorial because I want you guys to know how to play because I, I'm afraid that I won't be able to explain it correctly so you have this this is really cool so you have this uh, like overview of the whole entire area um, which is awesome so like if I for example open a1 uh, I can say nav 1 to a1 and uh, 1 will just go there um, which is awesome and I can also be like nav all r2 and then every single drone that I have will go to r2 which is awesome uh, so in order to see the rest of the level, there's this thing called the generator that's in the center of the room. That's what it's trying to tell us right now, but I'm not listening to it. And uh, what you can do is you can like send uh, your guy to go gen or go to the generator, which is awesome. Um, you only have one person that has the generator ability, um, so you gotta you gotta protect that person at all costs. That person pretty much just sits in that room. I, I've never, unless there's multiple generators on a shit on a on a thing, I've never actually had to move him very much. Um, so I can, uh, if I want to type it in, I can I can I can say nav one two r three, and he'll go there himself, or I can control him and do it do it myself, uh, which is cool. Uh, one thing that I have noticed about this game is that it's there's no music, right? So like, <laughs> it's scary as balls, like going places. Um, but now that I'm talking, it's a little bit less scary. So I can uh, gather. If I, I just type G A and it gathers everything, which is awesome. Um, so oh yeah, motion. So now that I have this room uh, discovered and stuff, I just shut the room D4. So you can type in the like, name of doors that are green and they'll open. See how uh, like I'm opening and closing D4? Because um, I can. Now, I don't know what's in R4 or R5. So, uh, what I can do is, uh, since 1, I think 1 is the one with motion. Yeah, 1 has motion on. So I can tell uh, where the enemies are if I type in the command motion. Um, obviously, because 2 of them are green and 1 is red. Which is super cool. Because uh, enemies kill you in half a second in this game. Uh, it's like no joke half a second you see an enemy you're dead it's gone I've only seen an enemy and not died once and that was because I had like a turret shield thing so I'm gonna close d4 and I'm gonna do something awesome so I'm gonna motion again so I can see where the enemies are again because uh, as long as you don't move that guy that guy will just continue monitoring every single door he's almost like a you ever, if you ever play Monaco it's almost like the lookout like you can you can kind of tell where enemies are so now what I can do is since I've gathered everything in R3 anyway, I can open up D5 and get my D5 command ready and then shut D5. And see, see it's even telling you now it's safe to move to that room. And that's another thing, is like like it's all like fuzzy when you get over here, so it's even more like a horror film. It's freaking great. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, very much like strategy roguelike like of the olden days but like mixed with this this like turnaround thing it's awesome uh, but it's in like early access right now for like 20 bucks so you gotta decide if you're gonna play it a bunch I've already been playing this for an hour and 30 minutes so <laughs> you, you know I already like the game I would play it I would play it for the chance see there's nothing in uh, R5 because I, I've already I've motioned and there's nothing there that see that screen tear I just hate it can't deal with it. So there's a drone in here that I can save if I have the toe. Does anybody have toe? 
No, I can't. I can't tow him. Um, because scrap. <laughs> Freaking what is it? Uh, swap. Let's swap. So I can swap. I can get the lure. Go ahead and give him give him the lure because my generator guy's just gonna be sitting, um, sitting nearby. Now there is something that scared me in this game. Like so, I I ended up getting out. Uh, I don't know if I want to say far, but I ended up getting pretty like decent. Okay, take that and then leave. Escape is closed. I don't remember what I'm what I'm doing. So now I can be like nav all to R1 and get the F out of here. So, no, but like, so like I guess asteroids can happen. There's like these floating square things that just attacked my guy and disabled him. I had no idea what was going on. I died. Like the world is too dangerous for me. Uh, and then you can exit him. So now it's time to play the game. Uh, the game is going to be gosh darn hard as balls, man. I can't even. I cannot even. So. What the F? Quarantine. Um, volatile. You want to look for ones that are stable, like this one? So we're just going to go ahead and go straight into this one. They usually give you all the things. I don't know what stealth does, because when I first played the game, it gave me a generator, a potion with a person with motion and gather. Can I um? Actually, can you uh? Actually, no. I want you to have motion, but I also want you to have gather. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm giving uh, I'm giving toe to uh, I'm giving toe to to the stealth guy, so he can like stealth toe. And I think I'm ready. We got Brandon or Brendan. I'm sorry, Brendan, Zach, and Matt. So hopefully I don't kill any of them. <laughs> I was thinking about like maybe doing subscribers for this, but uh, knowing me, I'm just gonna kill everybody. So that would be my doing. Doing everybody a disservice. Alright, so let's see how far we can get. This is like advanced. Like when I first played the game, it gave me like a world with all stable things, and then I got killed by asteroids. My second world, it like killed me ruthlessly. And now I'm here. So let's motion. Good. Can't tell. Just can't tell. Can I? Notion. Motion. Motion. Okay, so it's not. Sometimes it has a chance of failing. I was just making sure it didn't fail. I hope this isn't a trap. Don't be a trap. Close D9. Gen? Do you have Gen? No. Can you stealth? Okay. You're gonna stealth. Drone 2. You have Gen. You cannot see for balls, dude. This is not bode well. Why can you not see? D9. Close D9. Th can you... Can can 3 get in R2, please? So we can just shut... And just gather. Gather all, dude. Gather everything. A1. Close A1. I don't want A1 there. Okay, so stealth is gone. Oh, it regenerates. Oh, thank the lord. So I wonder if stealth can be used... I've never had a stealth unit before. I wonder if stealth can be used to... Um, to hide in a room, like navigate enemies towards it. And then, like, sit there and watch. I don't know. Um, let's motion again, so we can see what's in all these rooms. R3 is stable, so let's D11. And see if enemy any enemies come by. Anything? Let's type in D11 just in case we need to shut it quickly. Come on, R3 is real tasty. I had to leave it open for a while because sometimes enemies just like to chill. 
Sometimes enemies just like to chill. If it turns red, that means an enemy's in there. There's no enemy in R4? I find that real hard to believe. Okay, we'll close that. We'll open up... Uh, can we open up D9 real quick? Alright, Matt. Listen. Whatever is in here, you need to not be scared. Okay? I'm scared, too. We're all scared. Alright, so this is interesting. This is an interesting thing. We can uh, change our... If we want, we can change our docking to A4. Or even A5. Or even A3. Uh, I'm going to have A1 open. And then I'm going to have nav... Uh, which the one? What's the one with motion? Nav 3 to R1. Gosh, dude. I would not be able to do this in real life. I feel like uh, if you... <laughs> I feel like if you do this, I would be like the scared, scaredest person. So now I can go um, dock to A3. That'll change my docking station to A3. Then I can motion. Okay. That's what I thought. So there's enemies in uh, that. Can we, uh, can we dock at A5? Cool. So there's both enemies at R5 and at R6, but not enemies at R4 or R3 as far as I know. So can this this isn't the one that can't see for dick, right? Alright. Brendan. I need you to be brave. Okay, we're gonna shut. I'm gonna shut D9. Hopefully not. Not that's not a terrible decision. I'm gonna open D11 and we're gonna see what's inside. Please, nothing bad. Please, nothing bad. Okay. Info. What's in this room? Access terminal destroyed. Okay. Uh, there's also a fuel access point. Um, we might as well. We don't have gather. We have tow. So this guy's our tower. So we can't really lose him. Can we dock to A2? I think it would be pretty cool. Uh, dock, dock to A2 because we're not we're not getting anywhere where we're currently docked at A5 over there. Yeah, I'm in the room. I'm in the room three. You don't need to be motioning. So let's open up A2. Okay. So there are enemies in R6 for do for gosh darn sure. So we're gonna close D11. Nav one and three to R1. Actually, no. Three to... Er... Nav... Nav three to R4. And, uh... Gather all. Hey, it's not too bad. We got a P fuel. I don't know what... I don't know what those mean. Like, I kind of know what they mean. Uh, because you have jumps and stuff. I don't know how... How long... We might just do one level at a time. Uh... I don't know though. That sounds like sounds like a bad time. Motion. Motion. Okay. So we're gonna open up D7 and wait till enemies are in there. We're gonna have D7 ready. Come on. R3 looks so tasty. So tasty. It looks like the most tasty. Good. Alright. Nav. Uh, drone 3 to R1. Close A2. Dock to A5. Oh my guys. What? 
and if we motion now, we should be good. Awesome. So we're going to go to three. And uh, Matt's going to be the first one in. Actually, you know what? Matt, you stay, you stay there. Brendan, come on over, dude. You're going to be the one that can stealth. So, uh, just in case. What is this? Okay. Well, now that I know that there's no hostiles, Brendan. Come on over here and gather that. What is, what is that? Gather vent. What do you mean vent? So I don't know what to do with vents. I've actually never encountered a vent before. I, I did it in my. I, th I think I might have done it in my tutorial thing, but I don't remember. If you guys know how to do vents, that'd be great. Um, but now here's my predicament, right? Okay. I, I don't have a predicament actually. I figured it out. I figured it out. I already know. So we're gonna motion right, 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 and then uh, move or open D10 and wait till there's enemies in R6. Come on, R6. R5 is too big of a room. You guys need to go to the six. Go to R6 so you don't. You, you do not want to encounter an enemy in this game. You just straight up die. Hey, can you just, uh... Where does that vent lead, though? That's the real question. Hello? D10 is open. I know there's enemies in R5. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, na uh, dock, dock at A3. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's let's just go to three first, and then open A3. Sh probably shouldn't have had my back turned. Okay. So even though I've gotten enemies out, I've been killed by like red guys before that are like a weird type of like I'm coming after you and I'm gonna swarm you to death and I don't know where the F they came from um and I think that's it I think this is all that's in this alright nav 3 to R1 Dock at A1. A1. Nav all to R1. Done. Game set match. Exit. We didn't get very much scrap. Except for like the very end. Did we gather everything? You now have two. I played through four out of fifty. I didn't think there was. I don't think there's fifty that you can find unless you get scan. I, I did get someone with scan before. It was really good. Anyway, but that's how Tuskers plays. That's uh, an overview. You have multiple drones. You can have up to four in an uh, actual match, and then three that are empty. Um, but the game is in early access right now. If you want, you can go pick it up. It's about twenty dollars on Steam. Uh, I would pick it up. It's a mixture between new and old roguelikes, almost, um, which I think is awesome. Uh, so yeah, modifications. Gosh, I don't know. I feel like this might be boring to watch. If you guys like this, let me know. Leave a like or a dislike. Uh, subscribe if you feel necessary. Leave a comment if you want to have a conversation, because that's how we do. I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Um, peace out, guys.